Yeah. Lewis, yeah. I was meant to... Where was we, where was we meant to pick me up today from? Was it Manchester Mills? Oh, you talk about this as well. Mate, it's actually been an awful morning, hasn't it? Awful yeah. morning. So I was meant to go to Manchester Mills, get picked up from there. Next thing you know, trains are cancelled. Next thing you know, I thought, right then, let's go meet up somewhere else. Trying to get a tram this morning. No trams. Scared. <laughs> then I went and got some next bus replacement. That took forever, mate. I nearly fell asleep. Then we get here, all rosy, everything's all good, about to set up, and then the mics are distorted for some reason. There's nothing wrong with the, um, in terms of the mics. These are fresh, new, brand new Movo mics, you know what I mean? Battery's good. And then now we've got two audio sources. We've got one here and one over there. Hopefully, the one over there kind of links up to reputation. But listen, people, like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to City Extra. Lewis, how are you, mate? Oh, bro, I'm having a sick time. Other than what you just mentioned about this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo. It just, it's, you know what it is? It's just a reality of where, where we are, man. I'm just in the mud. Everything, everything right now, know. everything I touch, I know. everything I do, I'm just on luck, man. Yeah. Got no luck, mate. You need to speak to someone, bro, because you're going through a rough time. I'm being serious. Like, it's difficult for United fans right now. And You know what I'm saying? I just, you know what it is? You know what it is? Yeah. I just feel like every, 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 every week that goes by with yeah. United, I think... Nah, they've hit rock bottom now. Can't it's, get any it's, worse. It's, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately for City fans, it's the only way is up for United fans now, yeah. <laughs> but you, you just keep doing the madness every mm. single week. It gets worse and worse and worse and more embarrassing. What did I say to you last week on, on a Mank Talk? I said you are causing our, our City embarrassment. Mm. And then you went and dropped a 4 0 against the Bees, against Brentford, mate. Brentford, mate. 4 0 yeah, in the first 35 minutes. You are embarrassing our City, mate, with the performances. and... I'm, I'm looking at transfer news. You, you, you're just handing out cash to whoever, whoever wants to come here. Monopoly, we're playing football, Monopoly, man. It's, you know what I mean? It's genuinely mad. wild. It's wild, bro. I, like, I just, uh, I'm, I'm loving it, obviously. This is great time. But you know, you know, it's, you're loving it, yeah. But at the same time, you're just thinking, what the flip is going on here? Like, yeah, you know, you know, what, you know what's mad, actually, is yeah. you're providing, your football club, not you, your, your, your club is providing yeah. the whole world with an example of how not to do stuff. And yeah. you see Total Wolf, the a Mercedes F1 uh, boss. No. Um, yeah, so Total Wolf, yeah, F1 fans in the chat will know who he is. Yeah. He, uh, he's the team principal of Mercedes. Okay. And he came out and he said he studied Manchester United on their downfall <laughs> to ensure that that doesn't happen at Mercedes. Seriously. Country. Like, people. So, we're the model. You, you are, well, yeah, you're the model. No, 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 the model not for not greatness. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> people are now actively looking at your football club going, Let's look at everything that they've done and let's make sure yeah, that they yeah. don't do it. Yeah, yeah, it's, true, true. it's It's wild. You know, you know what, you know what gets me uh, about the situation is people just always. I've had a few phone calls saying, "Man, chill out, man. Why are you getting angry? Don't get emotional about it." You know what it is? Yeah? You saying that? Like a lot of people say to me, like, like "Why? You, why no, no." They say to me, "Why are you surprised?" Because I feel like I'm getting a different version of shit. Mm. Every single time, you know when you think like, right, that's it now. They can't embarrass you even more. Yeah, they go and embarrass you even more, and you're yeah, like, do, what do. is going on mm. at this football club? That's what I said to you last week. I said, you know, you're embarrassing our city, and I say it a little bit tongue in cheek. Yeah, but but at the same time, a little bit real. Um, and then you go and drop a four nil, and, and the thing is, right, I thought Ten Hag was going to come in, right, and, and and I said, I said this, so this yeah. ain't reactionary, by the yeah, way. Anyone yeah. who says, oh, it's just reacting, nah. I said, and I put a tweet out here, you'll be able to see it, that I think Ten Hag is probably the worst manager United could have with this squad of players. You think so? Bro, these players cannot play Ten Hag football. I said this to you last mm. week when we went to So what you think you just go and get a, I don't know, Sam Allardyce and just play Route 1 football? Y you know what, right? And, and, and this is coming across as like, I oh, just bantering us hard. You need a style of manager like that because I, you can't nah. play passing football. You know what? You know what it is. Yeah, you can't it's, do nah, it. Now because I don't want to believe that bullshit. Because these players are. I'm sick of these players, man. These players do not deserve. You know, I'm hearing leaks coming out all all of a sudden now saying mm -hmm. we need a more passive style of football. It's too hard for us. Too hard for who, man? You guys are overpaid, yeah, and you're talking about too hard, man. And, and, and it needs to match our skill set. What skill set do you have? You don't have no skill set. Bruno Fernandes, you need to keep the ball. Marcus Rashford, you need to look up when you're, when you're dribbling. Sancho, you need to improve. Like, the certain players in this team 
about skill set. Mm. How about just run more and and outwork a team? That's what you need to do first. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, let's go through them three players that you mentioned there. Yeah, let's start off with Fernandez because Fernandez. He come in, and when he come in, he was doing sick. He was, he was, he, in fact, he was carrying your team. He was carrying your team when he first came in. But lockdown football was different, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, to no, you. it is. And only football. Sorry, sorry. Only football was so different. You know why? They they gave the ball to him every single opportunity. Hmm. He, it was counter attacking football. I think his numbers hided away his actual overall ability. And don't get me wrong, I'm not discredit his numbers, but I think. They didn't tell the whole story, if I'm being honest with you. Possibly, but one thing that I've got a massive problem with him, yeah, and he sort of sort of sums up the club for me. Yes. Yeah. And, and when I first started saying this, it was a bit of a joke, but it's actually now true, and I've heard you say it, is yeah. the guys are non-stop moaning. Moaning, You don't, you can't have, have play, when you're going through what United are going through, yeah, mm. which is a, a joke situation and, and very funny for the rest of the football world to watch, yeah, yeah. you need players who will run through brick walls. Brick walls, yeah, yeah. And, you you got to understand where you're at. Things are not going to go like that overnight. United are going to stay in, in a, this poor sort of situation for a long time. Mm-hmm. So what you need now is you need players to understand that what they're going through mm-hmm. is pain. And you're going to get players who work hard for you. Someone like a Bernardo Silva, yeah. who will never stop running. Yeah? But instead, you've got mm-hmm. um, Bruno Fernandes on the pitch, who all he does, guys, is moan, 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 and he gets picked Time after time, manager after manager. That's why the manager needs to come in and, and start maybe... He needs maybe. to be binned off, mate. I don't care how good he is. You think so? Well, maybe not binned off in terms of soul. He needs to be on the bench because mm. what, what you need to be saying to him is... Is he overrated for you? Be yeah. honest. Like, as a city fan, look well, over. How, how, is he rated? To, to be overrated, he's got to be rated. Is he rated? Where, where, what, what are you saying mm. when you say he's rated? You know what it is? I think his overall game is overrated. I don't see really his game... And this is me looking at it from, he doesn't, he doesn't, for me, he doesn't get in the pockets as a 10. Doesn't, cr- for me, I don't see him as that natural mm. number 10. You know that natural number 10 that you got De Bruyne, that yeah, great, yeah, yeah. like, he doesn't get involved in a game. He always moans. So his best he can't position, pass. Then? He can't dribble. What would you say his best position is then? <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's an 8. I don't know if he's a, a 10. I don't know if he's a, a Roman 8. I don't know what he is. Bruno Fernandes, for me, there's question marks about him. But I'm not yeah. going to single him out. For me, Sancho needs to improve. Rashford needs to improve. But I'm looking at it right now thinking, there's a lot of people to improve, you know. There's too many. Well, you know, the people who watched the Mank Talk last week will, will, will know that because we went through half your team. Yeah. And, and, and I was saying, this guy ain't good enough, this guy ain't good enough, this guy. You know, Rashford now, I've seen them links PSG. I yeah, don't yeah. know whether that's his camp putting that in there to try and get a new contract. Let yeah. me just say something, yeah. If he's done that, yeah. To get a new contract out of United, then in my opinion, I think he's a disgrace. Because the way that he's performed in United shirt, mm. to go and start... I don't know if this is true, in it, so it might not be true, but yeah, if, yeah. It's, if Rashford has got his people to put these links out, or mm. his people have put these links out to PSG to get him a nice contract to United, then I think he's a disgrace. He's crap, Rashford. He's proper fallen off on him. Mm. Let's be honest. And he's another player. United fan. He's been at the club since, what, eight years old or something like that. Yeah. He, and, and everyone knows that Rashford's going through a bit of a da- bad time and he has done for quite some, you know, for quite a while. Uh, how long are we going to... Well, what, what I'm saying is, on, on this one, he's another... He, he is a player that should be working hard. I get Bruno Fernandes, yeah, you know, yeah, he's yeah. Portuguese or whatever, you know, he's not a United fan. Rashford is a player that no matter how bad he's performing, he, one thing that you should be saying mm-hmm. is he ran loads, didn't he? And he's yep. trying, you can see he's trying, it's just not coming off for him. And people start to have a bit of a laugh about it then. Mm. But the guys, for me, is just... Do we just need some fresh new blood here? I mean, we're, we're linked with about a thousand players. I mean, I, I, you know what? We've been linked with Casemiro. We've been linked with Rabio, rejected. We've been linked with... Apparently, we, we, they rejected a bid for um, Felix, Joe Felix. Yeah. We've been linked with about 20-odd players, man. I'm just I'm confused as to where this football club is going. Just in terms of the Casemiro one, yeah, he's a world class player. Everybody knows yeah, that. Yeah. He's unbelievable. One of the best DMs in the world. I agree. Four hundred grand a week. That's where you're at. You know what it reminds me of? Do you remember when um, City first got bought by the Sheik? Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, you know, yeah, no, 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 no I'm not bothered in it. You know what I mean? We we were like what eight for someone like mid table sort of position, yeah, mm. um, and. When you buy in the best players, if you're not 
the best team. You've got right. to give them cash. And everyone mocks at you at the time, saying, oh, you're paying all this money out to all the players. But yeah, we, yeah, we, course, have to yeah, do yeah. It. we have to do it. Because players are not going to come to you on a, on a nice little ch- ch- chilling deal. Yeah, yeah, they're true, not playing true, true. So United are sort of in this position. Is that where we're at now? Yeah, I think so. You know what I mean? Maybe not to the extreme that City are, but players are looking at your club now going, you're not in the Champions League Take this advantage. season. Take advantage. You're not going to be in the Champions League next season. And there's a chance that you might not even be in the Champions League next season. So if I'm going to come to you, I want to. I want to because I'm not going to play Champions League football. I'm probably not going to win any trophies. So therefore, I want bigger. He's won everything as well. When you look at it, like he's 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 thirty thirty one next year. He's thirty right now. He's getting payday, isn't it? Payday. You've got Tusha many coming in. Yeah, yeah. You've got Kamavinga. They've got the new generation set for next season. I'm presuming mm-hmm. he will get some sort of way, kind of like not kind of casted out, but just kind of phased out by Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it'll be. He's had a glorious, glorious career. Won everything there is to win. I think for me, I'm not going to lie to you, man. It's getting to the point now where I'm looking at the Casemiro thing and I'm thinking, Casemiro or Sean Longstaff? Because this is this football club could do that to me, you know? Yeah, yeah, This yeah, football yeah. club could do this to me. So are you going to take Casemiro and not be worried about the money? Or yeah. are you going to think, you know what? Go and get... Or the football club just go and get some random midfielder like Rabio who has all these problems, not proven... Not done anything, not pulled any trees. Let's be real. He's had an underwhelming career, mm. huge talent, but underwhelming career. Yeah, yeah. Or you got, got Casemiro, who is there for the next three years, and you know you could build something around for the next three or four years. He could be that six that we've always wanted. But at the same time, the wages I'm hearing this morning. You told me this morning, four hundred grand a week. Well, it's apparently, I, I, well, I've seen that basically United are going to straight up double his wages and he's on about 185 190 a week so you know with bonuses and that he's going to be on four yeah, 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 yeah. and I, I don't know man united are in this weird situation bro obviously you, you know it because you're watching this shit every week but i just feel like i don't know where you go from this mm. because let's be honest the club and the players mm. need to just it, 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 you know what you know when you go on fifa yeah and you, you go on ultimate team and you get that, that fresh pack at the beginning yeah, and yeah, they, just, yeah. they just give you a random squad of 11 players yeah, 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 that's yeah. what United need they need to discard their whole team discard if we everyone. had a chemistry right now what would we be? Oh, the chemistry must be on the floor man zero isn't it? you know what I mean but you need to discard the whole team and then just get that fresh pack of players and then just start building up but you got to have the recruitment team and this John Mitchell honestly guys be going on holiday just for, for a little Euro trip you know how you go on these Euro trips? Yeah, Might yeah. be going on these coach trips that you see on ITV too, like, just going from place to place. I'm I mean, like, the, what I, I heard that basically, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in it, but I think he went to Turin for like a week to try and get Rabiot and come home with no Rabiot. You, bro, what is it? Because you know, there was a him. meme, there was a meme of that, a wrestler from Italy uh, who went in the ring for the Royal Rumble and he got kicked out in like a second. Oh, yeah. That's John Mertel's negotiations, like. Yeah. But again, it's the people above that are employing him, innit? And are you, bro? Why has he gone there? Yeah, because obviously Rabiot's not joined United because he, he, he didn't pay any cash. That's yeah. why. Otherwise, he would have flown over. But you think that players are going to sign for your club now on just a normal 150k a week deal? Yeah. They're not. No. Because they don't want to play for you. They only want to play for you if you're going to give them the cash. And that's not a roast. And what United fans need to understand is if you listen to that, then what I just said and go, oh, the City fans being a dick, then you're part of the problem, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. Because that's where you're at. You need to accept the facts of where your football club is at and your football club is in a terrible, dire, terrible dire, dire. place, man. And yeah. this is why we went through the team, didn't we? Last week we went through basically all the United players and I'm like, I'd get rid of 90% of them, probably yeah. more. De Gea letting you down again? Yeah. I can't lie, I'm, I'm the De Gea one, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm, maybe I'm ready for a new keeper next season. Maybe it is that moment where you've just got a set of president in it. Go and get a new, yeah. go and get a new goalkeeper in. When you've got... Um, Bravo and it just set a new tempo, didn't it? Yeah. A new way of playing. I think it's gonna be one of them where now nobody can, can can blame the keeper now anymore after this when you've got a guy who's comfortable on the ball, can distribute it, just get a modern day keeper and maybe that's what we need, but what we also need is new owners and this this the new guy that's coming in now. The only problem with this one that I find is that I hope that he gets to club and it's the full ownership. Because if he doesn't and it's a part ownership and they only sell his shares, then I'm sorry, man. The, the football club will still be where it's at and it will still be majority hold by the Glazers. But yeah. I just hope the fans can unite, man. And like I said, I'm not at the game on Monday. I, I, it's empty empty seats, Old Trafford. I'm not going. Um, I'm not coming there to kind of... It's, I'm making a statement, in it? We, we don't want these Glazers here. 
And I hope many of the fans follow up to you what you do, people. But like I said, new owners come in, fresh new life in it because these what they don't care about the football club. They don't, and this is where we're at right now. And you know, the, the football club, but people can say, and this is why I, I don't get the argument when people say, "Oh, but you spend money." But the problem is, it's how you spend it. You could spend mm. how much you want and then not be able to get where you need to be. You know, mm. and we spent a billion. They've spent a billion, but where are they? You guys are winning trophies, and it's, it's all it's all from the top, man. Like I mean, obviously we got our guy. Who there you go. Who doesn't do much? Yeah, he just obviously is in Abu Dhabi and that. We he's employed. Yeah. It's all about what you, what, what you got to stand this year is when you are sort of that big. And obviously the Glazers are massive. You know, Shane Mansour is massive. Yeah. You, you their job really is to put people in charge so that they don't have to get involved. Yeah, yeah. Right. So City have got their hierarchy at the club of obviously yeah. Caldoom, Cheeky, Ferran, yeah, Omar, all the guys you know, right, mm. at City. And even, everyone knows who they are, even United fans know who they guys are because I know. they're always on TV and that. Yeah. And that's why you never have to hear from, from Sheikh Mansour because he's got these guys in charge mm. and they're doing a brilliant job. Does that mean they won't make a mistake now and again? Mm. Nah, they do. They make mistakes, you know, in terms of uh, fan relations, obviously with the Super League and that. Yeah, and yeah then, of course. Um, and then obviously signings, they still get wrong. They're human beings. Mm. But... The, the, they've got a plan in place, yeah. And and I, I remember basically when we sacked um, Mancini, yeah, yeah, yeah Mancini, and they did release a statement and said, We're going through this holistic approach. And at the time, yeah. everyone was laughing because no one really knew what it meant. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. look back at that now and you go, Nah, these, these guys were actually spot on. Mm. And everything that we did from that day forward has been to build the club and a, and a certain squad in, in a certain way. Facts. And, and this is why I always say, Yeah, when United get rid of Ten Hag. Right, which could happen this season, who knows? Yeah, yeah. No one will know what style of manager you're going to get after that. Because mm. no one knows, everyone goes, Oh, we're not playing the United way. No one knows what the United way is right now. You've gone from Van Gaal, who's like a possession based player, you had Mourinho, who's a defensive coach, you had Oli, who no one knows who he is, yeah. Moyes, who's a defensive coach, and now you've got Tanag, who's like a. There's no input from the, from the top, you're trying nah. to say. So when, when Pep Guardiola goes, mm. there will be three managers in the running and it will be managers who manage the same sort of style of philosophy yeah, like. culture yeah, and, and that means it'll be easier for the manager to yeah. come in you know what I mean because we've got the same and if they do place. change it they've got they'll have appropriate people at the top who will then get the appropriate recruitment yeah. to the to the level that he needs to do and that's where the difference in the club are and that's where the difference in ideologies are and that's where we are now it's, it's turmoil mate the club's toxic everything around United is toxic you know what I mean and does, is there a feeling for you that if it doesn't go well now for Ten Hag that you could just walk and just think you know what I'm not because I've seen a lot of people just trying to say oh yeah. he doesn't know what he's doing and he could you know what you could see all this in the media thing I'm getting mocked here for people that are not yeah, trying yeah and if he right so there's a couple of points there because it's I think it's a really good question one there's two things yeah on the whole why would he walk uh, w there's one reason well the promises haven't been kept yep. now no one will know whether that's true or not because let's yeah. be honest we can all be like no one knows what we'll find out after you know when yeah. it happens yeah, yeah. so that, that could be one thing where if he gets to the end of the transfer window mm -hmm. and he goes you told me I'd have five players and I've got two or three and none yeah. of them are who I actually wanted Facts. right and he could go you know what I'm going to walk or two he goes these set of players I just simply nowhere near good enough. And if yeah. I walk now, I can make some sort of excuse and people will blame the club and yeah, not yeah, me. But if he stays, mm. then he's going to start getting criticism. However, having said that, bro, I do want to just have a little bit of a dig at Tenard for a few things, right? Okay, okay. One, I think keeping Harry Maguire as captain was an absolute disaster. Mm. Because there's two reasons... Should have set the president, shouldn't he? Yeah, there's two reasons why, right? Mm. One, because he's not a good enough defender for Man United anyway, mm. so that means he should be captain. Mm. And two... If Maguire is to get back to any sort of capable defending, which might be possible, I think too much has probably gone under the, under the bridge now, mm. then he needs to focus on his defending, mm. and that means not being captain. Every day I go on Twitter, bro, I see memes about Harry Maguire. And it's getting to the point where I'm like, this guy's getting bullied, man. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not even funny anymore. Yeah. And get I, him out of the firing line, yeah. Yeah, I think he should have come in and just gone, you're not captain, give it De Gea. Mm. Now I think De Gea is not the right not the right goalkeeper for United. I've said this before, but if he's not going to be sold, just give it. It's the easy option, mm -hmm. and it takes the pressure off Maguire. It's easier then to take Maguire out the team yeah. if he's having a bad game, but it's harder to take a captain out the team. Yeah, I think he's made mistakes there. I would have been more ruthless and got rid of a few other players, mm -hmm. and I I just think that maybe I think Liverpool will tell me a lot about Ten Hag. Maybe what are you expecting from this game, though, bro? What Liverpool? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody Are you expecting hell, him to like change tactics? And it's a relegation six pointer, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's serious, man. We lose this game. Well, yeah, 
I fear for this team, I really do. But it's got to the point now where I don't even know if United fans even care that much now about the season already. And it's three games in. But bro, it's been like that for like the last five seasons. You guys right? even enjoying this sport? I'm surprised you've not took up like basketball or something like that. Hey, basketball, even basketball is at three in the morning, man. You yeah. know the sport at this time. That's it's, the problem, man. It's pain. It's so, pain. You know what I mean? That's the problem. That there's no other sport. Like I've been looking at Gaelic football and seeing if that's all right. But <laughs> I'm seeing them getting the ball and then put it on the yeah. floor. Then you know, I'm like, nah, man. That, that's not for me as well. But I think for me, it's gonna be it's, it's dark times now, United. But at the same time, I've, if this guy can come in, this new owner guy from Manchester as well, he knows the football club. If he can get full ownership, but apparently if these these. I don't the see ownership, it. it takes two years to kind of I don't see smooth it. over. I don't. How long did the Tixi thing take over from... Um... Uh, well, that was quite a quick one because our guy was... Uh, oh, he's doing a uh, fraud he, and that. Yeah, he was in a fraud and that, so it had to yeah. go through quite quickly. And I think we were in serious problems. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not yet. But I, I just think that, you know... <sighs> United need to take drastic action here. But yeah. not, everyone's like, oh, we're going to be panicking. No, you don't have to panic. Just yeah. get a plan. Yeah. They need, the board and Ten Hag needs to be involved in this, right? Need yeah, to get yeah. together today, right? And get in there and say, right, we've got two weeks left of the transfer window. This team's shite. If we don't get sorted out, then we're going to finish it, yeah. I reckon, possibly 10th. You know what I mean? And again, don't laugh at that because it's true, Listen. right? What yeah. can we do in these next two weeks in terms of outgoings and incomings that one, isn't going to drain the club of finances yeah. because you're going to have to pay him 400 grand a week and two, steady the ship yeah. and... and work our way to a team that can play the 10 high football. You know what I mean? I think, I said this again, bro, I've, I've been proving Mark so much stuff, buying players from the Eredivisie here, mm. that's a risk. Mm. It's a completely different style of football. It's bought... But that, that, again, that's damning of the football club because it's then he don't trust the, the football club to buy them. And do you, when this guy Myrtle has gone to bloody Spain and Italy and mm. done nothing. So I understand sometimes where he's coming yeah. from. Buying players that he knows, because then at least then he could get a call and say, "Oh, yo, Lewis, man, um, I heard you coming in. It, are you coming or when you let, let me know when you're coming? At least then he can have some clarity. Oh, I know my guy over there in uh, in Holland. He'll let me know. At least then you know, right? It's gonna happen or not, rather than you kind of waiting on John Myrtle and you're never gonna get that email and never gonna get that call or. But then walk. Hey, what? Don't don't try and play from the Eredivisie who are not going to be good enough at Man United. I don't think Martinez will be good at United. It's too small, and I've and I've already made that. I think, I think that's a bit harsh, but I think time will tell. Time will tell. But I, I'm I'm putting a prediction out there saying this is too small. The, the young lad who come on at left back, uh, I don't think. Well, I see him. Yeah, where's he from? He's, he's Dutch as well. I think he's going to get opportunity. Shaw's not good enough for me. Yeah, he's not good enough. But I don't I don't think he's good enough either. And I just think that. Mm. I have time will tell, of course, time will tell. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying this is a fact. I'm just saying that's my opinion, and time will tell. But I just think that may, may, maybe you're right. You said it right at the start of the show. Maybe Ten Hag has to walk from this because at the end of the day, yeah, if he's gonna, if he's gonna get roasted here, and, and this murder guy isn't gonna back him with the players that he needs, yeah, yeah, needs, um, and, and he doesn't feel he has any confidence in in the guys at the top, yeah, then walk. And I tell you what, if he walks. The yeah. protests at Man United would be mad because then everyone would know, bro. Yeah, yeah. Everyone would know. So, yeah, yeah. No, you know what it is, man. I just it's, we're in a dark, dark place at the minute, man. You know what I mean? I've got people texting me. I've got you know what I mean. I've got Steve every day on the WhatsApp. You know what I mean? He's just going mad every day. Um, yeah. I've got you know what I mean. I've got so many people bantering me at the minute, and it's like, what do you do, man? What not even spoke about City. I'm just gonna say about City that basically everything right now at my football club is perfect. Bernardo yeah. Silva looks like he's staying. We've got the best two strikers in, uh, the best two young strikers in the world. You know what I mean? We've got the best four centre backs. Like, hold on a minute. You don't, you don't want to say that, you know. You know Liverpool fans said that and they didn't win anything. <laughs> yeah, but that's Liverpool, isn't it? You know what I mean? Uh, Liverpool, Liverpool just warm us up, you know what I mean, for the big games that we're, we're, we're cruising right now. These yeah. man talks are very one sided because there ain't, there ain't nothing going wrong. You know what, man? City. You know what I was gonna say. Yeah, could City walk away with this league? Like, be honest. I, I think Liverpool so. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think we could. Yeah, because Liverpool. I said this right last last end of last season. Salah had a terrible second half of the year, and I said they need to make sure Salah gets back on it this season. Otherwise, they're gonna really struggle. I had Liverpool fans, you know, in the comments, "What are you on about me?" I'm just, all I said was Salah needs to improve based on his second half performance because mm. that wasn't poor. And Nunes is a gamble, which Nunes is a gamble, right. and he got sent off the other day. You see that? Boom. Yeah, you know what I mean. Red I see, I see, I see. James Redmond saying, "Oh, he's he's moved into him." I said, "Come on, James, man, can't make excuses for this guy, man. He literally went and got rattled, mate. Mm. Rattled, H- Henderson, man. Milner, and Javier. What's your midfield? Fred, McTominay, 
And yeah. Like, Columbus. Yeah. Now, like, which one were you having, chat? You know what I mean? I, I, they're, they're both like relegation. Listen, man, it's relegation football, but you lot, man, you know what I mean? You're breezing past people. You know what I mean? Haaland obviously didn't have many touches, but still score, still got an assist. At least he's been effective, but City, City, I think City yeah, this year are just not even watching anyone else are just doing their thing mm-hmm. and I think they're just kind of steamrolling they've got that kind of thing I think, they, I think Guardiola's going for this free peak you know if you could get this free peak mm-hmm. then he has to be in that conversation where you know we look at him and I think you know what man like you know I, th- I think we're going to the UCL as well mate I think Warrior UCL for Man City this season I think we're getting it I think Ilkay Gundogan mm-hmm. taking us Ilkay Gundogan for, the, for, for, for the people who don't know me he's probably, underrated man he's going to talk about I him love, man. yeah I love, I love the guy so much and I think he's going to take us man Istanbul coming and uh, yeah I think it's coming home you think so? Yeah, I think this is our year, man. You, f- you really feel it? I, I, yeah, I've never been like this before, bro. I've always been like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, you know I mean, but like this season, mm. I think we're going all the way, man. So, so, you know what, man? The thing is, yeah, I don't know how much confidence you guys have because I feel like every year you get you get shy and you just get like, you know. Yeah, no, nah, but our confidence is through the roof because we know that we're going to win trophies at the end of every season. You know what I mean? And if we win a Prem, or we don't win a prem, or you know, we we, we win it off cho- other trophies, you know, domestic. Prem and Champions League, two different. I rec- well, I reckon we're going to win the prem, and I reckon that we could walk away with it. You know, what I mean, our next four fixtures are all winnable games, so we realistically we should go six six wins in a row. Mm. Um, we should breeze through the group stages of Champions League because realistically we're just too good for that. Then, and, yeah. I, and I reckon this this season, I don't think who's going to stop us. Who's going to stop? Us? I think last season, yeah, was a massive. Pain in the arse, you know what I mean, with that Real Madrid game. Mm. But I think we took something from that. I think we mm. learned a lot. I don't think Bayern Munich is as strong as what they were. No, they no. might be a bit better with Mane, but again, yeah. it, it's just one of them where City just lose their concentration or City just kind of like, you know, mm. fall away. But I think we, we learn from I think we've learned from that. Obviously, again, time will tell, but I think this year, yeah, City going all the way. And I reckon we could win the Prem and the UCL break. And then throw in a few domestics. I've already got Bernardo got Silva says as well. I reckon. What news with that one? That that is, you know, looks like he's staying now. Confirmed. Oh, Bernardo Silva. Yeah, I mean, like I say, you just what Bernardo Silva is a player that United need. <laughs> a player that's going to run mm. through brick walls non-stop mm. and just gives a hundred percent for the club. The guy doesn't even want to be. Here. He wants to be Barcelona. Yet every single time he steps on that football, that's what you want, man. He's that's what you want, man. You want someone who who's able to do that and is able to kind of like you know bring who, in that gap. If man. I have to say to you, yeah. Have you got any, seriously, it's a genuine question, have you got anyone in that team that would run through brick walls for your football club? I'm talking like literally die on the pitch. No. Nah. Because I don't think you have, man. No. Nah, that's a serious you. problem. That's a serious problem, man. We don't have that kind of like workhorse, you know, that like dog kind of thing, you know, mm. that would just ride or die. We don't have that. We don't have players that just dirty tackles and, you know what I mean, leave one on people and, you know what I mean, uh, you know, Get through, like, get into plays, and we don't have that. You guys have having Fernandinho, you know, certain other players, but we don't have that, and that's the that's the issue for us, man. You know what I mean? But in terms of the Premier League stuff, I wanted to quickly touch on Deli Ali, man. What oh, a right, sad yeah, yeah. career, man. Um, you know what? Uh, Mourinho was spot on money in that all. Or you know what? That all or nothing, man. He was, man. He was, you know, man. It like him going to Pesicta. Was it Pesicta? Yeah, Pesicta. Yeah. At 26. Career over. That's his career over, basically, in my opinion. You know what? I remember the goal that he scored at Crystal Palace. I remember watching it live, and he um, the ball, yeah, the, the, he he did like a he like chipped the ball over his head. Yeah. And um, yeah, I said wrong. Yeah, he like chipped the ball over his head. Yeah, and uh, yeah. and then he just volleyed it into the back of the net. And I thought, oh, what a player! And then he started like doing bits, and then. There were certain games that you'd watch him in and you'd just think, I'm not seeing that passion. I'm not seeing that desire to yeah, run yeah. through brick walls. And someone like him, mm-hmm. I think, needs it. And I think mm-hmm. he, if he had it, he, I think he could have gone to the top of the game. I really, I mm-hmm. think he would have been at a top, top. Just like, shows him, man. You know, what was he all saying? Um, hard work beats talent. Yeah, and yeah. Talent oh, yeah. work hard enough. For, for sure, yeah. And Dele Alli is a, is a, is a glaring he just got lost in emotion. Got, I don't think he got too big-headed, but just lost focus. And it just shows you any footballer out there. You got Rashford now. You've got certain players. You know what? Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. I think he did get big headed when you have Jose Mourinho speaking to you in a one on one situation. And he almost like was that yeah, yeah, yeah saying to you, listen, lad. Like, was he listening or what? In that well, this is what I'm saying. Like if 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 he, if he did listen and he's not put the effort in, then yeah, maybe he don't he lacks focus. But I just don't think he I don't think he cared. Maybe because mm. he was in a privileged position, one of the greatest managers of all time, Jose Mourinho, giving him. Yeah. Some mad advice, yeah. You know I mean, and the yeah. guy is just 
gone down. You know, he went to Everton, that was never going to work. You know what I mean? You could see that a mile off, and now he's at the shit task. Really sad, but just a lesson out there for people, innit? You know what I mean? Yeah, no how good you are at shit, you don't work hard, you ain't making it. Yeah, 100%, man. You know, and, and oh, that's... you won't fulfil your potential, and I don't know which one's worse. Mm-hmm. Not making it or not fulfilling your potential. Yeah. Well, there you go, exactly. Just before we wrap up, um, in terms of the Premier League, you know what I mean? We're in the mud, but like I said, what are you going for prediction? Hold on a minute, you're in the mud. You're in the mud. Oh, you're man. in the mud. Hey. Hey. Going down, going down, going, going down. down. Going down, going down, going down. Go, sing it with down. Going down. 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 That's the championship <laughs> couch. This is the champions yeah, couch. That's the yeah, championship <laughs> couch. Good luck for the season. Nice to see you on the bottom. Bye-bye. Listen, <laughs> man. Look at that, man. I can't get away. Shout out, Big Steve. Shout out, Big Steve in the building, man. Bloody <laughs> hell, man. This is what I mean, people. What can you do, man? Getting what can you do as a United? not even on the show and you're getting trolled by someone not on the show. Exactly. This is what... You know what I mean? Like, hey. You know what, man? This is United. Please, new owners, and let's start again, man. I'm sick of this now, man. I'm sick of being bantered. Help me out, man. Help me out. I mean, the streets ain't easy. It ain't easy out in the streets. I've got to walk in alleyways now, man. <laughs> I'm never kidding you, man. I don't even walk on the main streets anymore. No. I'm walking alleyways. Because at least then I know nobody's going to spot me around here. Yeah, it's, pay, it's painful, boys. It's, um, it's it's pretty funny, but you know what? City fans just keep on enjoying it. You know what I mean? Because this, well, this, yeah. this is entertainment. And... It's mad, bro, because you know when you went through that sort of like initial dip like a decade ago, which is actually is a decade ago, yeah. everyone was like, oh yeah, you know what I mean, United will come back soon, come back soon. And, and it's been 10 years now, or yeah. like nine years, whatever it's been, and it's like, nah, your club is not coming back for a long time, mate. And yeah. like I say, I still think it'll be at least, I said on last week, I think it'll be two or three years until you're challenging at the top table. The last week has just told me that I reckon it could be three or four, you know, pushed you, it back. Uh, that's what I did say to you, it yeah. could be three or four. And that's if United take it seriously. That's man. if they take it seriously. Who you got the weekend? Uh, Newcastle. Newcastle. I think that's a tough game, you know. Well, you say that. Just a couple of points, yeah. Um, Eddie Howe has never taken a point off um, off thingy. We beat him 4-0, 5-0 last season. Typically, he plays open football, mm. which we, we, we love when teams play open football because we'll just you know create the space. But, you know, Newcastle is a, a tough team. We are away from home, so it, it's going to be difficult. But yeah. we've got uh, Newcastle, we've got Villa, I think we've got Crystal Palace at home, mm. and maybe Leeds, something like that. But, yeah, our next four fixtures are all winnable. I never say easy because there's no easy games in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're all winnable. And both we can get off to our first six game wins. Mm. That's a mega start. Liverpool have already dropped two points. We've got a let, let's put that. Mate, we've got a loss in the bank already. I know. Have you got a loss in the bank after two games? I know. That's what it's all about. And you, what, what's your fixtures looking at after this? Yeah. So what well, after after you know, Newcastle? You've yeah. got Tottenham coming up as well. Tottenham the United. Tottenham's Dallas. our seventh game. So that's why I said our first six games of the league are all winnable games. And then uh, September October is when we start getting like mm. Spurs. I think we play that. Ed, 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 Goodison Park, which is never easy. United never never easy, cool. either way, in it. So, uh, yeah, and United will be easy, but you never know. Like, Derby yeah, Day, we yeah. just might just turn up here. I, I think that seriously, we, we could embarrass you. I think with Ten Hag as well. Because the thing is with Ragnick, yeah, I think Ragnick tried to play nice football, but I think he was a bit more pragmatic in certain situations. Yeah, of course, I know, I know. I don't think Ten Hag will play it. We City. played all right first half when you look at it. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, th- I don't, I don't think, I don't think Ten Hag will play against City and go. We need to sit back and absorb the press. He'll be like, now nah, we need to get on the ball, and make stuff happen, because that's who he is. And I think yeah, if yeah, he does yeah. that, there could be a horror show, mate. In Manchester. Yeah, 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 I really do. But listen, people, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna wrap it up here, people. This has been a mag talk. I hope the sounds okay. If it isn't, apologize, man. I'm gonna scrap these mics and get my other ones because. Um, I don't know what happened. Last week it was working. We're fine, yeah, yeah. And then this week, I don't know what's happened, man. It just almost distorted. So if you feel there's a bit of a distorted feel, then I will switch up to my other mics. Um, yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching the Mank Talk. Please subscribe over to City Extra. They've got wicked content over there. Like I said, support the Manks. This has been the Mank Talk. Like the video on your way out. Subscribe to the channel. And we're out, people. Take care. Peace. Bye. Peace.